Okay, here we're going to look at regular Markov chains, and we're going to give a definition, and we're going to pick out uh, some matrices that are known as regular. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do in this video. So we say a transition matrix P is regular if some power of P has only positive entries. We say a Markov chain is a regular Markov chain if its transition matrix is regular. Okay, so what we're doing, again, we're just looking for a transition matrix, uh, P, where some power of it has only positive entries. So here I've got three examples. We're going to determine uh, which, if any, of these following matrices are regular. So our first example here, we have entries of 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, and 0.9. Well, all of those entries are certainly positive, right? They're all positive already. So our very first matrix here, that is going to be a, that's going to be um, a regular, excuse me, a, a regular, we would say that this transi transition matrix is regular, okay? Our second matrix here, we've got entries 0, 1, 1, and 0. Okay, so 0, 1, and 1, and zero. Well, right now all the entries certainly aren't positive, but again, that doesn't mean that this matrix P is not regular. We have to actually start looking at powers of it. Okay, so if we look at P squared, for example, well, we would just take 0, 1, 1, 0, and multiply it by itself. So we'll use our matrix multiplication here. So we would have 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1. That would give us 1. Then we would have 0 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 0. If we add those together, that'll give us 0. Our second row, first column, we'll have 1 multiplied by 0, and then 0 multiplied by 1. Again, that's going to give us 0. And then our last entry, we would have 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0. And that would give us 1. Well, okay, so all the powers, or excuse me, all the entries aren't positive yet. So it's not, I, I can't say that it's regular yet. But again, maybe, um, you know, maybe if I multiply it again um, by, by P, we will in fact get a, a regular, uh, our, our transition matrix will turn out to be regular. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to take P squared and multiply it by P. And in this case, we'll have, let's see, 1, 0, 0, 1. And I'm going to multiply that again by P, which is 0, 1, 1, 0. Well, in this case, you can check that if you multiply... Um, this matrix is actually what's known as an identity matrix. When you have one along the diagonals and zeros everywhere else, you can check that you'll actually get the uh, matrix 0, 1, 1, 0 right back. Okay, and it looks like, uh, so again, that's still not, uh, we still don't have positive entries everywhere. We could calculate P to the fourth. Well, P to the fourth, that would be P squared times P squared. Again, you can check that if you multiply these, we'll just have 1, 0, 0, 1. And if we, for example, calculate p to the fifth one more, that's going to be p to the third times p squared. So that's 0, 1, 1, 0. And if we multiply that by p squared, which is 1, 0, 0, 1, again, we're going to get right back since we're multiplying by this identity matrix, and again, if you're not familiar with that, you can just do the arithmetic. It turns out we'll get 0, 1, 1, 0. And, you know, you can check that after going through a couple powers, we just keep getting the same original matrix back. We're never getting a, a matrix with all positive entries, so this matrix would be not regular.
Okay, so you can kind of see already it's a little tedious. It can be tedious to check if something is regular or not because you have to just start multiplying this matrix by itself uh, over and over and over until you either get all positive entries or you see some pattern or somehow you can convince yourself that, hey, it's never going to give me all positive entries. So let's look at our last example here. So our last example here, we've got 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and 1, and 0. So right off the bat, you know, it doesn't look regular because not all the entries are positive. But if we compute uh, the power, if we compute p squared, so that's 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.8. Excuse me, we've got entries 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 10, and that's multiplied by the matrix with entries 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 1, and 0. And if we compute this, we would have, let's see, 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2, that'll be 0 0.04. And then we would have 0.8 multiplied by 1, which will be, well, 0.8. Our second entry in the first row, we would have 0.2 multiplied by 0.8, that'll be 0.16. Plus, we would have 0.8 multiplied by 0, which would be 0. Second row, first column, we would have 1 multiplied by 0.2, which is 0.2. 0 multiplied by 1 will be 0. And then our last entry, we would have 1 multiplied by 0 0.8, which would give us 0.8. We would add to that 0 times 0. And notice in this case, we're left with, well, let's see, 0.04 plus 0.8 will be 0 0.84. We would have 0 0.16, 0 0.2, and then 0 0.8. Notice after we compute just even the very next power, we do have entries that are all positive. So we would say, yes, this is an example um, where we would say the transition matrix is regular. Okay? It could happen that you have to compute you know, p to the third, p to the fourth, p to the fifth. Uh, you may have to compute quite a few powers before you actually get entries that are all positive. But as long as at some point they do turn all positive, then we say, yes, that is a regular matrix. So it turns out the first and third ones were regular, the second one was not.